So let's get started with the first option, which is Homebrew. Homebrew is the so-called missing package manager for macOS or sometimes for Linux, and it allows you to install software on your computer in a very easy way. If you don't have Homebrew installed on your computer, you can easily copy this command, open your terminal, and start the installation from there. Because I already have Homebrew installed, I will simply type brew to see if it responds and if it shows the right version. So I'll write brew dash dash version. And what I will get back is the current Homebrew version. So in this case, I have Homebrew already installed, so I don't have to do anything else. Now, the command that we're going to use is brew install. And the name of the software that we're trying to install is Jenkins. And we're going to also specify by writing dash LTS, we're going to install the Jenkins long term support version, LTS. So now Jenkins has been successfully installed. And what we need in order to actually start Jenkins is to use this command brew services start Jenkins LTS. And now Jenkins has started. And from my browser, I can go to localhost port 8080. And when I'm doing that, I'll be asked to give an initial admin password. And I've even been told which is the location of this password. So all I have to do is copy this path that I have here, open again the terminal window. And for example, using the cat command, I can simply look inside this file and see what that password is. I'll copy it from here and paste it here in the browser. And this is the step where the installation process will start. We'll get back to showing you how to set up Jenkins at the end of the video. But first, let's see how you can install Jenkins if you want to use Docker. Now let's move on to the second option that you have for installing Jenkins, and that is by using Docker. Now in order to use Docker, the way I installed Docker locally on my computer was by installing Docker Desktop. And once Docker Desktop is running, you will see here in the bar, you will have this uh, Docker Desktop, it says here it is running, and this practically means that you can start using Docker. So what I'm going to do next is take a look at the documentation for Jenkins. And by the way, everything I'm talking about, you will find links in this video description and all the commands that I've used and references. So make sure you check that out. But from the official Jenkins documentation, we'll take this command here. So what this will do is to start a Jenkins container. So I'm opening up a new terminal and pasting this command. And right here before Jenkins home, I'm just going to specify that I want to have this in my home directory. And this will be mapped to another folder that inside Docker machine. So this is the mount that we are creating here. And also we're specifying on which port Jenkins will run. It will be again port 8080. So let's run this command and what will happen in the background, the Docker image will be downloaded and started. And once that happens, we should be able to see this in the logs and we'll have almost the same way of accessing Docker as we had in the previous installation. So as you can see, the image already started and you'll be able to see here in the logs this password. And this is again the password that we need for the initial setup don't need to go inside the specific file here, but anyway, this is referenced here. I'm gonna copy it and go to localhost on port 8080. And we are gonna simply paste the password that we have and continue with the installation. So in terms of customizing Jenkins or practically finishing the installation, there's no difference between using Homebrew or using a Docker container to do that. The first step is to customize Jenkins in terms of which plugins to use. 
in order to use Jenkins properly, you need to install some plugins. Right now in the beginning, it's not necessary to have any specific plugins installed. So I'm just gonna click here on install suggested plugins. And this is a step that you don't need to worry too much, especially now in the beginning. Later on, you can easily add or remove any plugins. Just gonna leave Jenkins for a while, install all these plugins and get it ready to get going. Once all the plugins have been installed successfully, you will be asked to create an admin user. You could theoretically log in all the time with the long password that has been generated during the installation, but it is best that you fill out your own username and own password in order to use Jenkins, something that you can easily remember because next time we start Jenkins, you will be asked for the username and password. Finally, uh, Jenkins will try to detect where the installation is. This is the address local host on port 8080, so that looks just fine. So I'm gonna click on save and finish, and now the Jenkins setup is ready, so we can start using Jenkins. If you encounter any errors, make sure that you check the video description for some troubleshooting tips. And this is the first page that you will get once Jenkins has been installed. And from here, you will be able to create new jobs, see how they run and practically start using Jenkins.